how's your morning going? All right, so I'm gonna I'm sending this one to you in the morning just because it's all about a strong start in the morning. Do you feel satisfied by your morning? Let me explain why this is so important to me. With four kids at home, homeschooling them, running a business, how do you get it all done? Whether you are me or you are in grad school or working on a master's or an undergrad or you're working full time and juggling kids on top of that or taking care of family members, everybody's got really full schedules. If we can be successful in the first hour, hour and a half of our day, we set our mind up to take care of the rest of the day. Even if the rest of the day seems like a flop, is not productive or feels crazy, if that first step part of the day was good, it really helps us out. Try it out. So here are my suggestions for a strong start. First of all, I gotta add a health thing in there. Get some warm water and squeeze a half of a lemon in and chug it. I know it's not gonna taste great, but it does have great health benefits, both in hydration, in increasing your metabolism, and in helping to detox and clean out your liver, the part of our body, our organ, that really does flush the junk out. So why not help that out with some lemon water first thing in the morning? Second, and I believe is the most important, look to someone bigger than you. For me, that's quiet time with God. That's my devotions in God's word. Look to something bigger than you because it helps us get perspective and remember that this isn't all in our hands. We don't have to do it all. We're not gonna be able to do it all and we get ourselves adjusted ready for the day. I like to do that in my first 20. Next thing, and you can do this 20 minutes, 15 minutes, you break up the time that you have. This is to be successful for you. These are just ideas of what I would strongly encourage to have a strong start. Next tip is to get outside, move. If you are an athlete, you are working out, you wanna pump some iron, go for a run, do a HIIT workout, high intensity interval training. If you are not, go for a walk. Breathe in some air, some oxygen outside. Yes, you might have to bundle up or put on a big raincoat depending on what the weather is, but get yourself outside. Next is to look at what is most important that you need to get done before everybody gets up, before everything gets crazy. Do that thing. What is that biggest thing that you have had on your waiting list that's driving you crazy, it's, you can feel the pressure on your shoulders, do it. Even if you just put 10, 15 minutes into it or 30 minutes into it, start tackling that big thing and set this up, this up for yourself the night before. When you go to bed the, the night before, that's the time to brain dump. If you've got a lot of things spinning around in your head, a lot of times if we don't work this out on paper, drop, drop everything that's in our mind, and put it on paper, we're gonna be laying there in bed going, oh yeah, I gotta do that, I forgot about that. Oh man, I've got that to do. We're not gonna get the rest we need. So take one minute and brain dump. Take everything that's in your mind and put it down. And then look at that and before you go to sleep, highlight the most important three things. Not 20, three. We will be more successful with smaller amounts and more consistent steps than if we try to get it all done. We overwhelm ourselves. So plan that out the night before, but get what that big thing is, start tackling that in the morning hours. You will feel so successful, I believe, spending time with in God's word or with something bigger than yourself, getting yourself outside, drink a little lemon water, help you're promoting your health. To start tackling that thing is that is the biggest on your to-do list. And then the last thing, put your hand over your heart. You can even do this right now. Set your timer for one minute and start acknowledging or continue, if you already do this, acknowledging the things that you are thankful for. You can be as simple as, thank you for the chair I'm sitting in. I have furniture in my home. Thank you for the cup of coffee I'm drinking. Whatever it be, you take one minute, close your eyes, and acknowledge the things that you are thankful for, the blessings that you have. That has a way of turning around our perspective and helping us get ready for the day with a much more positive outlook so that we're ready for whatever crazy we're gonna handle. I promise you that 
one of adding one of these things consistently to your schedule or trying all of them will help you feel stronger and better about your whole day by the way that you start it. I hope that's a blessing to you. I hope it gives you some inspiration. I will see you tomorrow. But before I do, the word for today is AM. Okay? You're ready for the drawing? Text me back. Just letter A, letter M. I'll see you tomorrow.